Imagine watching the Rings of Power and never having read any of Tolkien's books or never having seen any of the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings films. Now this is a nightmarish thought. Wes Hal, mean friend, and welcome to yet another video. My dear, dear friends, I hope you haven't just eaten, because this article is going to make you feel sick. Nah, I'm sure you all have very strong stomachs and will be able to enjoy this atrocity along with me. However, please do look at the screen, my dear friends. What you can see... Over there is an article by GameRant.com, and it summarizes some of the aspects of the Rings of Prime that are the most poisonous for everybody, and that I have been talking about for a long time. Now, some of these things have already been covered, but uh, they are summarizing it quite nicely. And for those of you who might be new to the channel, this is quite a nice summarization of why you should not pay any of your attention to that abhorrent TV show on Prime Video and instead go and get some of the books by Professor Tolkien and read some actual good literature. So shall we dive in and uh, I will be stopping and uh, commenting upon it a little bit. So the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Prime, cast claps back at East Trolls and teases season two. Now, of course, many times before I've said this, there is absolutely no reason why we should call this the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. The Rings of Power is only <coughs> a subtitle. It's, they are using uh, the word the Lord of the Rings just to get more views and attention, just to, uh, well, suck on the teat of a famous story called the Lord of the Rings. They have boasted in the past that they are adapting the appendices to the Lord of the Rings, a chapter worth of notes. For some reason, they have decided to talk about it as it was something separate. And all they can do is use a name here and there from the appendices, but otherwise create their own Amazon's original story, fantasy uh, TV show that on its own, standing by itself, is just mediocre at best. No, I'm sorry, I was too nice very bad. Because if you've seen the individual episodes, and if you haven't, there are reviews on my channel, the writing is extraordinarily bad. The costumes are the worst that you saw since I don't even know when. And uh, their own invented uh, lore and history of Middle-earth is so full of plot holes and so nonsensical that one is just left staggered. Such as one example for all, so I don't take up much of your time. According to Amazon, Mordor was apparently created by a servant of Adar, a uh, character who is Amazon's original, by a turn of a key. Now, if that isn't stupid, I don't know what is. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Prime, cast members are baffled by the ism from hateful fans, while others seem ready to move on. I will be censoring myself because uh, if you use certain words on YouTube that might, well, mess with the algorithm. And the article goes, cast members from Amazon Prime's Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Prime, Recently commented on the East backlash many continue to receive simply for being part of the show. Luckily, they can move past such things as they gear up for the show's highly anticipated second season. Now, they have said, some of them like Ismail Cruz Cordova or the other chick, the one who played Lisa. Um, they said that they have received some uh, mean messages and that their computers have been hacked. And that, uh, you know, like that something, something has been uh, attacked. I have made videos about that, but what's the most striking about this is um, that none of them have provided any evidence. Nothing at all. No screenshots, nothing. You know, I if somebody is making accusations, I should like to see some actual tangible evidence, but none has been provided so far. Now, of course, there are nitwits on the internet who are saying very mean words and very mean things, but... 
Hey, it is the internet. If you go to the internet and engage with people, you can be 100% sure you will hear some meany, meany, meany things. If I was to cry every time somebody said anything mean to me on the internet, I would be crying all day long. But I don't. Do you know why? Because I don't care. Because I know it is the internet. I know it's just psychotic people on the internet or just trolls or whoever. Don't care, you bloody snowflake. And it continues. Many rings of prime actors had to overcome its backlash before the show premiered and continue to deal with it to this day. For some reason, a potent group of the Lord of the Rings fans seem to take it as a personal affront when they see people of color in any role. That is false, but that is the strategy that they are using. Uh, somebody makes a bad product like a filmmaking company or a streaming service. Fans don't like it. I mean, fans of the original material don't like it because it's bad. So they will not admit that they have made a bad product. We are obviously instantly called istophobes. And then you've got the other... Well, I will not go into depth here. Unfortunately, this phenomenon is prevalent across all forms of media, particularly when the franchise in question tended more towards white actors in the past iterations. And you know, huh, why is that, by the way? Why is that? Maybe, maybe... Because those uh, iterations were close to the source material that was written by a guy in uh, the 30s and the 40s about a fictitious country that is very strongly based on medieval and pre-medieval Europe and uh, European countryside when he was a wee lad at the beginning of the 20th century, where exclusively Caucasian people lived. So, mm, why is that, my dear friends? Do you think that there has always been the very woke and stupid and idiotic 21st century? Newsflash, wokies, no. But the actors themselves are having none of it. Ugh, fascinating. During an appearance in the Monte Carlo Television Festival in Monaco on Sunday, as reported by Variety, cast members Owen Arthur, Prince Durin IV, Cynthia... Adai Robinson, the fake Queen Regent Muriel. She, she has never been Queen Regent, by the way, of Numenor in the source material. But yeah, I mean, I have covered this many times in my videos. Uh, Lloyd Owen, Captain Lendil, and Maxim Baldry Sildur spoke about several topics with a fan bigotry taking point for some of the conversations. Adai Robinson, who has faced some of the backlash, seemed eager to push such things behind her. What I'm looking forward to as we move on to season two is allowing that conversation to be in the past and just plow ahead, she stated. When you have progress, it's like we're not going to go backward from the things that we've established. I'm ready to acknowledge it and uh, move on from it, because I think we've kind of said all there is to say, really. I know that I have. And I will make a bet. Either you or anybody else involved in the Rings of Prime season two will be talking about it a lot when the second season comes out. Because the second season is going to be even worse than the first season, if such a thing is even possible. So you will all have to diverge the attention from the show being bad to us being istophobes because we won't like the quality of your final product. And it continues, while her willingness to take the high road is commendable, other Lord of the Rings actors are less willing to let the East backlash go. <coughs> of course! Fellow cast members Arthur had a more pointed response to the hatred. I've already covered this, but let us remind ourselves what he said. I mean, it is infuriating. Like, you go, oh god, really? Are we still there as a human race? That drives me wild, he said, of the abuse of this cast made of color have been suffering. The guys have been through a lot. Yes, they have played in a multi-billion dollar show by Amazon and they got a lot of money and a lot of attention. Poor, poor souls. To be on the receiving end of things, and I hope one day we will, as a human race, just be one. I mean, it sounds kind of maybe pathetic or dramatic what I'm saying here. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And also, it is uh, a lie. And it is gaslighting people. And it is grabbing attention, because otherwise, without that, you would be quite irrelevant. But genuinely, just stop racism. I mean, uh, there are only very few true ists, like true, true, true white ists in the world. 
a normal human being doesn't like racism. You don't have to say it. Ah, oh, well, let us move on. They also spoke about the developments in the Rings of Prime Season 2, which looks pretty exciting. <laughs> we all know that Sauron has been revealed at the end of Season 1. Everybody knew at the at the beginning of Season 1, by the way. And therefore, what happens when that amount of evil is finally realized? Each person throughout the universe, throughout Lord of the Rings... Oh, oh. Author J.R. Tolkien's world is going to be affected by that, Owen said. Baldry added a tease of his own, saying, I say it's a little more action-packed. There's a lot more action. I don't care. I mean, there was a, a fair deal of quote-unquote what you call action in uh, season one, what Amazon imagines to be action in season one. There were quite a, a, a fair amount of like like fight scenes and battle scenes, but it didn't help the show any. So why do you think the second season will be any better? Of course, I will. Sh- I will uh, watch it. I will sail the seas, Captain, and review it for you. My my prediction is it's going to be even worse than season one. And uh, the article continues. Season one is really about an introduction. At I Robinson said, uh, yes, an eight hours of purgatory." of an introduction. And I, Robinson, said of The Rings of Prime, so far, you're setting the stage for aspects of the story that are maybe a little bit more familiar to audiences, because we do know a little bit more of these next few things that happen that will be part of season two. But there are a lot of people who have never read the... This is... This, 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 this is the scary part. But there are a lot of people who have never read the books. They've never seen the movies. So that season one setup really is, in my mind, it's really for those people who are very new to Tolkien. So season two, you're going to see a lot of storylines start to come through. Imagine, imagine the Rings of Power being the first encounter with, like, quote-unquote Tolkien for somebody. Now, I don't feel sorry much for people. I, I have learned that, that it's quite useless to feel sorry for all people because nobody will feel sorry for you. But for people, for those theoretical people who might encounter, like, quote-unquote Tolkien, because this is no, no Tolkien, you know, The Rings of Prime, for the first time, watching this shit, oh, please don't. Please, please. If you know somebody who has never read uh, Tolkien, who has never seen Peter Jackson's films, and they are, like, contemplating uh, watching The Rings of Power, please just stop them. Please just give them The Lord of the Rings book. Please. Please be the be the nice person, be the savior. Good, do a good deed. Universe will thank you. You will have good karma. Please, please. <laughs> All right then. Wow, this is a painful thought. All right then. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And Maria.